Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to cook black eyed peas. For this recipe, I'm using one pound of black eyed peas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this. You always want to make sure you sort your peas or beans or rice because there's always things in there that don't need to be in there. I always take out the ones that are broken and the ones that look brown and old and sometimes you'll even find pieces of rocks in there or dirt so you want to take those out. I know a lot of people believe that if you cook black eyed peas for the new year it will bring in luck and prosperity. So is that a tradition in your family? Is that something you do? Let me know in the comments below. These are the ones I'm going to throw away. Now I'm just going to put enough water in there to cover the peas and I'm going to wash the peas. And when I say wash it, I mean I'm just going to rub it between my fingers as I'm moving it around and you'll see the water will get dirty. I'm going to do this two times. Okay, so to my pot set over medium heat, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to let that heat up and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of chopped onion. Give that a stir and let that cook for about 2 minutes or so or until the onions are translucent and then I'm going to add some garlic to it. The reason I don't add the garlic right away is because the garlic will burn really quick and I don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to add two cloves of finely chopped garlic and I'm going to let this cook for about a minute or so or until it starts to get brown. Now that it's brown to my liking, I'm going to add the black eyed peas to the pot. I'm going to add 8 cups of water. and one teaspoon of salt. I'm still going to add some more water and salt but I'm going to do that later on. 
but don't worry I'm going to leave the exact measurements in the description box below for you. Stir that really well and then you're going to cover it and let that come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you're going to lower the heat to medium and you're going to let that cook for one hour. You don't have to touch it, look at it or anything, you're just going to let it cook. On this day that I was cooking the black eyed peas, it was raining so hard outside so... I just want to give you a little glimpse of outside. So this is what the peas look like after an hour and it's still not completely cooked to how I like it. So at this point I just like to take my spoon and push some of the peas against the pot to mash it. I don't want to mash all of them, just some of them. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I'm going to add some more water to it to finish cook. I'm adding four more cups of water and a half a teaspoon more of salt. I still wanted to mash some more of the peas so I went ahead and did that and after that I'm just going to cover it and let that cook for 30 minutes more. This is it. This is what it looks like when it's finished. So this took a total of one and a half hours to cook. This is how I like mine and for this recipe I'm just keeping it simple, just plain black eyed peas. But if you want, you can add meat to it. You can add leftover ham, you could add a ham hock. You could do different things with it but I just wanted to keep this one simple. I have a next video coming up for you where I'm going to show you how I cook it in my pressure cooker and I'm going to show you how I cook it with meat in it so stay tuned for that if you're interested. The way we like to eat our black eyed peas is with cornbread and this cornbread I'm eating here is my recipe. I have this up on my channel so if you're interested in it I'm going to leave it linked below for you. The green stuff here in my cornbread is green onion because that's how I like it. I know that's not a typical thing you'll see in cornbread but that's how I like my cornbread. But you can put jalapeno in it if you want it spicy. You can do whatever you want to your cornbread it's up to you. Well, I really hope you liked this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.